What's up everyone, I'm Steph, and today we're gonna learn how to optimize our images using Nux Image. It's an image optimization module for Nux apps, and it makes the process of optimizing images super simple. If you're familiar with web development and creating responsive interfaces, you know that you wanna deliver the smallest payload possible to your user, which oftentimes means you have to optimize your images. And if you've done this before, you know it can be quite the headache and it can be pretty hard to manage. That's where Nux Image comes in and kind of saves the day. It offers two components, your Nux image component and your Nux picture component. And you can pretty much just swap these out for the native image and picture tags. And it makes it really intuitive, quick, and simple to optimize your assets. If you're not really familiar with Nux the framework, it's a higher level framework for view apps. So it's kind of like a framework for a framework, which may sound strange, but it offers a lot of features that would be really difficult to achieve with vanilla view. The main difference between the two is that Vue is always running on the client side, whereas Nux offers server-side rendering, so it can speed up your app a bit. They have a lot of other features, but one that really drew me in for this particular project is that it really increases your SEO, which obviously is important for a blog. So I'm thinking that the two of them together, Nux plus Nux image, is not only going to drive more people to my site, but it's going to keep them there because it's been proven that if a person has to wait more than three seconds for an asset to load, they're likely gonna click out of your site. So with improved SEO, people are gonna to go to my site, and with Nux Image, they're gonna stay on my site. So let's pull up my blog, and we're gonna start by installing Nux Image to this app. So let's head over to the Nux Image documentation and click this Get Started button. I'm gonna copy this first command we see at the top of the page and just paste it into my terminal. This will install Nux image for us, and then I'm just gonna run my app locally. Once it finishes running, I will copy the local host and paste it in my browser. And here you can see my blog, which is what we're gonna be working on in this video. So I've opened my text editor, but looking back at my blog, you can see that this image stays the same width and height no matter what size the screen is. So whether it's really big or really small, the image itself isn't changing. And if we were to inspect this image, you can see that the HTML is literally just whatever we put in our text editor. So it's an image tag with some CSS styling. But what if we want to make this responsive and we want this to change based on the dimensions of the screen? Well, let's go into our code and you can see this is where our image is. And it's contained within a div with a fixed width and height. And then the image itself just has height full width auto. I'm actually gonna comment out this entire div containing the image, and I'll copy and paste that image tag outside of it. This is gonna give us some crazy styling, so let's just delete whatever CSS I already put here. So I'm gonna delete its Tailwind classes, and I'm gonna switch this image tag to a Nuxt image component instead. So you can see that the image is still the same width and height, it's just this auto width and height, and especially at this large screen width, it is squishing our text a lot, so we wanna make this image responsive. Let's go into our code and we're gonna add a size option here. And by default, Nux gives you five different sizes. You have extra large, large, medium, small, and extra small. So let's go ahead and say that at extra large, we want it to be 300 pixels. At large, we only want 200 pixels so our text doesn't squish too much. Medium, we can go back to 300. And then small and extra small, let's say 200 pixels. Go ahead and save your changes. And then if we head back to our browser and refresh the page, we can test this out. So you already see our image resize, and if we make the screen really big, it's our larger image, which would be 300 pixels. And as we bring this in and hit from extra large to large, it decreases to 200 pixels. Back to medium, it's up again to 300. Small, back down to 200. So you can see our image is responsive now. Let's inspect this image once again, and we can see that the Nux image component configured our image tag for us, with all of the sizing and SRC sets needed to make this responsive. So to finish this off, I'm just going to re-add the styling that I had originally. So I'm gonna add a border radius so that it's a circular image. And just like that, we have a responsive image. It was that easy. So I've gone through and replaced all of my image tags with the Nux image component. And the last thing I wanna to do to show you how powerful this component really is, is to run a Lighthouse diagnostic report to really show you how much it improves its score. So I'm gonna do that now, and you can just do this if you inspect the page and click Lighthouse, and then click Generate Report, it's gonna run. One eternity later. So it finally finished running, and here are our scores. I'm gonna pull up another identical app, but this one I did not replace the image tags with Nux Image, and we're gonna see how they compare. 
Okay, here we have it. We can see that using Nux image, which is on the right, greatly improved our accessibility score and SEO score. So you can see how something as simple as just switching out our image tags for the Nux image component can really have a huge benefit on our app and it's so easy. Lastly, just for completeness, I wanna deploy this blog. So I'm gonna to go to vercel.com and just click on new project. You can see that my repository is listed right here. I'm gonna import it, skip this part. I don't need to create a team and just click deploy. And Vercel is gonna deploy this for me instantly. I don't have to do any configuration. Here we go. My blog is live just like that. So let's go check it out. I'm gonna click visit. Here it is, my live blog that anyone can visit. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed it, but more importantly, I hope you learned something. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe because I'm gonna be posting a lot more content similar to this and I don't want you to miss out. I will see you in the next video. Bye.